Tonight, just as you spruce up your yard with flowers and mulch, there is a warning from firefighters. The mulch you put down in your yard could catch fire. It is happening in several communities, causing thousands of dollars in damage. In one city alone, there's been a dozen mulch fires. On your side, consumer advocate Jen Strathman is live in Rocky River with tips to keep your family and property safe. Jen? Well, actually, one woman said she picked up a pile of mulch like this. She laid it down on Saturday. On Sunday, her house caught fire. Luckily, she had a hose nearby to put out that fire, but everyone hasn't had that same luck. When I heard windows breaking, I just saw big orange flames breaking through the window. So my first thought was the basement was on fire. Firefighters ruled out anything electrical on the ground floor, but they do believe the fire started at ground level. In the mulch. I've maybe been to half a dozen of them in my whole career, but this year is, is something else. Avon Fire Department saw just one mulch related fire last May. This year, they've been to 12. And it's not the only city where it's happening. It's believed mulch in a flower pot sparked a fire at this home in Avon Lake. The only thing we can really attribute it to is just the dry weather and the extremely mild spring that we had. I've never heard of this. Rick Vaccarella says insurance investigators told him there might be another culprit. That created a perfect storm. The thought process was the the angle of the sun was coming off of this window here, glaring down there. That reflected sunlight can magnify and burn anything in its path. It's a phenomenon we first told you about last September. The sun reflects off certain windows and creates a magnifying glass effect. Look what happened when we bought an energy efficient window and directed it toward the sun. Within minutes, we melted a plastic bag. Typically, the damage is far worse. At this Parma home, vinyl siding melted. Across the country, paint is bubbling and pool covers melting. Anything in the path of this unnatural light can be damaged. It was still smoldering out here. Rick's fire is still under investigation. He's just counting his blessings, thankful he worked from home the day of the fire. One aspect I don't feel so lucky, other aspect I feel kind of lucky. Now, the damage is estimated between $35,000 and $50,000, but there are some things you can do to protect your house and your safety. Make sure you put your mulch away from your house. Don't put it right up against the siding. Make sure you kind of leave a gap. The other thing, pay attention to the warning signs. One woman told me she kind of smelled some smoke around 8 o'clock in the morning, didn't know what it was, and ignored it. By 3 o'clock, her house was on fire, and that's because this mulch can actually smolder for a long time before it actually ignites. Well, Jen, let me ask you this. So is it best to hose down your mulch as soon as you lay it out to prevent all this from happening? Yeah, hosing it is a good idea, but you have to be very careful. You don't want to put too much water on the mulch because then a fungus can, can develop. And when that fungus develops under certain conditions, again, it can actually create kind of a shotgun effect. So you have all these little dark specks all over your house, your car, anything in the path. And I can tell you from talking to homeowners who've had that happen, that's a complete mess to clean up and really difficult to remove. Jen Strathman reporting live for us tonight. Thank you very much, Jen.